guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you. Just wanted to do a little talk about um, my weight loss goals and starting out and, um, and trying to keep myself motivated. I know I probably have put a lot of videos up in the last few days, but it's kind of like when you start something, you got to get a starting point. And then I will back back off you guys for making so many videos. I know y'all like, I'm tired of seeing Miss Natalie's face on our line, on our streamline, okay? Stop it, okay? Let me see somebody else's. Too many videos from you in the past few days. But as I told you guys, I was going to start doing portion control. Like right now, we're not doing any calories. I'm not tracking calories. The only thing I'm doing is looking at the bags or the cans or whatever I'm eating and I'm looking at the portion size and that is what I am sticking through, okay? As far as for me, I am trying to stick with three ounces of lean meat. Um, I'm trying to do like a fourth a cup of a starch or carb. I am trying to do one cup of veggies, okay? And then I'm incorporating fruit and my other protein snacks within it as well. I'm trying to stick with six um, small meals a day to try to get my metabolism back guessing and wondering what's going on is what I'm trying to do. Um, I will be trying to increase water intake. Um, what I have done is I've started doing... Um, for my wedding, I asked for an infuser pitcher because I did not have an infuser pitcher. So I got one of those. So I made us a pitcher of fruit and, fruit and veggie and fruits on um, water. Now I just need to get my fresh mint because I usually put mint in there. Every store I went to yesterday did not have it. But I put like my strawberries, cucumbers, and lemon in it, getting a fresh um, taste. I also have a pour, a smaller infuser bottle that I have to take to work. And as you can see, my cucumbers are in there. Can't see my strawberries because they're at the very bottom. Yeah, there they go. So I have that to flavor my water. And I will, I bought bottles of water to put in the refrigerator so that I can um, continue to fill this bottle up throughout the day so hopefully I can um, get my water intake in boost it up because I know that's the thing that has been a problem I have been getting it in a little bit more y'all I have been using the flavored packets which I will still treat myself to a flavored packet of water but I'm going to try to do the fruit infused water just to get the plain and try to stay away from um that so much y'all know i still got my coffee i gotta do my coffee i gotta do my cream i did a video which i will be posting later on tonight after you know i show you the dinner sample and tell you how my day went on my first day i'm not going to do an everyday video on what i'm eating because i showed y'all what my weekly meal plan is going to be there's no need of showing you everything i'm eating every day now i might post on Instagram if you follow me there I'm the one true diamond on Instagram I might start posting like what I'm eating for breakfast because my breakfast will be different um, than what some mornings it will be different because I did not do like my egg white muffins or something like that you know to keep that but I um, I want to do a different variety of flavor now if I decide to do a different meat which I might will because I told you um, I can eat chicken every day of the week and be just as satisfied as I can my two meats I picked this week was tuna for lunch and chicken for dinner but I know Derek gets tired of chicken for dinner so I probably will later on do like um, some type of um, stir fry with maybe some ground or either do like a cabbage stir fry with my ground turkey that I usually do or I might do a beef stir fry because I do have some um, ribeye steaks in the freezer so I might do that and then just mix it up so that he's not eating the same thing like maybe on Wednesday night like Monday and Tuesday let him eat chicken um, Wednesday give him like a portion of ribeyes with sauteed veggies do like a stir fry with that that'll get his mind off of the chicken then Thursday either he can eat the stir fry the beef stir fry again or he can go chicken or something like that something like that to try to get him off of feeling like you know I'm eating the same meal because I think when you eat the same thing over and over again it kind of deters you 
and you get tired of it. So I don't want him to get to feeling that type of way. Um, like I told you, I, my starting weight is 230.2. I don't know if I'm going to do weekly weigh-ins or if I'm just going to wait at the end of the month and see how my um, let's see how my act how I've done in a month. You know, I might just do that. I'm not sure. And I might still do my weekly weigh-in so then I can judge kind of where I'm at and if I need to tweak um, how much I'm actually taking in or if I feel like I'm not taking enough in, if I'm feeling hungry or, you know, that sort of thing. So, yeah. So, anyway, you guys, I just wanted to come on and just kind of explain that of what I was doing. I'm not going to talk a whole long time because y'all know I can talk, 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 talk and about things but I kind of want I, and, and then too y'all going to be seeing a lot of these videos well not a lot of them because I'm going to slow it down like I said but uh, kind of what my videos will be based on is my weight portion control talking about that that's going to be the majority of them for a few minutes so if you're not interested in the weight loss vlogs then by all means you know just know that that's what's coming so hopefully you will stay with me but, you know, if you're not on a weight loss journey, if you're not interested in hearing about somebody's weight loss journey, then, you know, I can pretty much understand that. But whatever video or whatever content I put out, I will try to clearly label it so that people will know this is a chit chat, which means I'm going to be talking about any random thing that um, kind of comes to mind. Um, if I put weight loss, portion control, then you know what I'm talking about, diet and weight loss. Um, if I put Rite Aid haul, CVS haul, um, whatever, something couponing, then you know it's coupon related. If I put hair or natural hair journey, then you know I'm going to be talking about my natural hair journey. If um, I decide to do something more on a spiritual motivational level, then I will um, make sure I label that as well. So those are people who want encouraging or want to hear you know, um, something on the spiritual side, then that will be clearly labeled as well, too. Because I don't want anyone to have to say, well, I sat all the way through this, and this is not what I thought it was going to be or what I thought I was going to hear. So that's kind of how the channel is going to kind of evolve, okay? I'm not going to stop making videos because I started this channel for me. Basically, it's just track my um, natural hair journey. And then I started getting on the weight loss journey, so then it motivates me. And sometimes I can go back and I can look at my videos and I can hear and see and just feel encouraged and some things empowered or be like, hmm, girl, you were slipping back then and you didn't realize it. You know, I can see those things, but this is for me. You know, basically it's for me and I'm glad of anybody that I can help along the way of making these videos for me. Yes, um, I did try to modernize some of my videos, and some of them are still modernized, um, but as far as making money on YouTube is not my ultimate goal. If I do make some money, then oh well, but with my video viewing count <laughs> and my number of subscribers, that's not going to happen, okay? Unless God steps in and just, and just do a miraculous move. Um, on my channel which he can but if only if he does then will I see some revenue coming from my videos but as far as for now no revenue whatsoever has been coming from my videos because I do not have enough viewer watch time so but that's okay too because as y'all see y'all got to know it's okay because I still keep putting out videos because it you know hopefully some of the things I'm talking about it is helping someone you know um, I feel like I'm coming on I feel like I'm sharing with friends and yeah so I hope y'all enjoy um, these videos I hope y'all just cheer me on in my weight loss journey me and Derek um, I'm just praying hard that I can get him motivated to move a little more you know move you gotta move 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 you know, nothing hard, nothing strenuous, but start out with a little at a time. This morning, I got up at 5 o'clock, 
and I worked out. I did the Leslie Sampson at two mile walk. I did that. Happy with doing that. I got up, I prepared breakfast. I still done my morning routine that I normally do, but I made sure I got myself up. Did I want to get up when that alarm clock went off at five? No, I hit the snooze button. And then I'm like, no, you go ahead. You got to get up. If you don't ever get up, you won't do it. And just as lo and behold, as I got up this morning, guess what? My knees were aching. I'm like, how in God's name is my knees going to be aching this morning? They were. So, but you know what? I still push through it. I said, I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to do as much as I can. If I can't do the whole um, 30 minutes, then guess what? I'll do one mile of 15, you know? And if I have to start sitting down, doing sit down, exercise, working out, I'm going to do something. I'm going to continue to move my body. If I have to park at the end of the parking lot as I'm walking into a store, I will do that because that is giving me more steps as well. You know, it's just time out now. You know, it's just time out. It's just so time out. And when I see myself creeping back up, how I have got up to 230 pounds, that was such an eye opener for me that I was like, I cannot continue down this road. There has got to be a stopping point. I have got to get started. So anyway, not going to hold you any longer. I am so glad you guys are here with me. Like I said, continue please to cheer me and Derek on, encourage us on the way as we get back on the journey. And I encourage those of you who say, gosh, she knows my pants leg made me feel like something was crawling on him. <laughs> ah, okay. Y'all, if y'all, if anybody's thinking about it or saying I'm struggling, struggle with me. Come on this journey with me. Do it. Start out small. You can do it. Don't you are your own worst enemy. Do you hear what I'm saying? You are your own worst enemy. I was my own worst enemy because I had so many I can'ts. I wish I could. I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to do it another day. I don't have the right equipment. Y'all, even if you don't have measuring cups, if you don't have money to buy measuring cups, which you can get measuring cups from the Dollar Tree, where you buy that soda or you buy that cake or you buy that bag of chips, guess what? You can afford a measuring cup. You don't have to have a expensive measuring cup. Even if you don't have a measuring cup, you have your hand. Piece of meat, palm of your hand.